Welcome to Chorus Stories. Are you ready to meditate with Cory? Hi friend, don't forget to subscribe, say that you like the video, and also press the bell so that you get notifications every time I make a new video. If you love Heidi, Cherry, and Vea, or Tucker and Leo stories, you can now get exclusive stories on my Patreon account. Go to the links below the video and you can join Heidi Cherry and Vea Club or the Tucker and Leo Club and get exclusive stories with your names in them. I love you all so much. Enjoy the story. Bye, friend. Are you ready to meditate? With Corey, jump up into bed and get all snuggly. Try and stay as still as you can so you can relax your body and let go of your busy day. Tucker was in trouble. He was laid in the living room on the dog bed with Leo, just resting his eyes, all calm and nice and relaxed. Mum walked in. Tucker! Tucker, what did you do? She was holding a carrier bag. She opened up the carrier bag to show him, as if that would help him know exactly what he'd done. Inside of the carrier bag was a lot of empty wrappers. There's a backstory to this carrier bag. Jenna and Ellie had recently flown home. Jenna was one of the kids that lived at the house where Tucker and Leo lived. Jenna wasn't really a kid. She was 23 and she had a daughter called Ellie. They lived in Washington with Jenna's husband. Jenna's husband's called Dylan. Dylan's in the military, so they had to go live in a different state because of his job. Jenna tries to get home to see the family as often as she possibly can. And this was one of the weekends where she came to see us. Ellie is five and she likes lots of airplane snacks. Inside of that carrier bag, that mum was now old in, before had lots of aeroplane snacks in. There were Cheetos, there were Cheez-Its, there were fruit roll-ups, there was different things like dried fruit and also bad things for Tucker, like chocolate and candy and all of those things. There was a packet of Oreos in that carrier bag. So many things Tucker is not supposed to eat. Mum's face looked very serious. Ooh, he said to himself. Oh no, he said out loud. This made Leo open his eyes. Leo opened one eye and looked around the room, and then looked at Tucker, and then looked at Mum, holding the carrier bag with all the empty packets in it. The carrier bag had got chewed up marks on it too, as if he'd been trying to chew through the carrier bag. Oh no, Leo, I'm in trouble. Leo looked at Tucker and said, What have you done? Tucker said, I did it again, Leo. I couldn't help myself. They left the silly suitcase on the floor in the, in the dining room and I was like, Oh, this smells nice. And then before you know it, Leo, I was rummaging in there with my nose. And then before you know that, I was rummaging in there with my full head. And then before you know it, I got my paws in there and I got my head in there. And I managed to put my head in t inside of the entire carrier bag. And that was brilliant because then I could just pick the whole thing up. And then when I threw it on the floor, you never guess what happened. Everything fell out and it all looked so delicious. Ooh, Oreos. Ooh, Cheetos. Ooh, Cheez-Its. Ooh, chocolate. 
I know, I know, Leo couldn't help myself. I ate everything. Mummy was still staring with a very stern frown on her face. Tucker, you are going to be ill. You're not supposed to be eating any of this stuff. I have you on a very healthy diet because you've been scratching a lot lately. Tucker looked at Leo. I have, Leo. I've been scratching a hell of a lot. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the season that's changing. I definitely haven't got fleas because Mummy laid me down on the floor and she checked all over. She checked under my armpits. She checked between my toes. She checked around my ears. She checked around my tail. And I was like, I don't think I have fleas, Mummy, but she wasn't listening. She checked me so thoroughly. And then Dad, Daddy has those gloves with the with the things on that brush your fur and he was brushing and brushing and brushing it felt so nice because he was scratching all my itchy bits and I was like shaking my legs all over I mean you've seen me Leo I've been scratching a lot lately so mummy's right I really shouldn't have eaten those 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 things that had things in them that was really bad for me because mummy's been trying she has been trying she even bought me some proper tablets you know me Leo I'm not allergic like you to anything I don't know what's going on with me Leo said, well, welcome to my world, Tucker, because everything makes me itch. Tucker said, I don't like your world, Leo. It's not very nice. It's too itchy. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so... Oh, oh, wait a minute, Mummy's looking at me again. Tucker's mum stomped across the floor in the living room towards him to get closer. Oh, no, she's coming. I'm going to pull my sad face. Just a minute, Leo, we'll talk about it in a minute. Tucker pulled his saddest face. His eyes got really big and they went all doughy like he was like a lost puppy and he went all sad and his eyebrows curled up and his little mouth went upside down as if he was sad and really sorry. I'm so sorry, Mummy. I couldn't help myself. He was doing his bestest, bestest sad face. Mum stopped in her tracks. Don't look at me like that, Tucker. You know you've been a very naughty boy. Tucker's ears got really low and he shrunk down on the bed as if he was in trouble. Big trouble. He tried to get small, but he couldn't because he was big. He's a big black dog. He couldn't get small. This is one of those times, Leo, where you wish you were like a tiny little chihuahua or something. Or tiny like Sasha next door. She was so tiny and cute. I wish I was tiny and cute. This is the cutest face I can do, Leo. Leo, do I look really cute? Do I look sorry, Leo? Because I want to look sorry. Do I look sorry? Leo looked at Tucker's face. Yeah, you do, actually. You look, you look really sorry. Keep pulling that face. Mummy will fall for it. She always does. And then she won't be angry. Mummy said, Tucker! Stop pulling that face. You know that you've been a naughty boy. Tucker said, oh, I really don't like it when she calls me a naughty boy. It makes me feel so bad about myself. <gasps> I'm sorry, Mummy. Tucker tried even harder with his sad, sorry face. If you're sick today, Tucker, it's going to be all your fault. Don't come to me complaining that you've got a tummy ache. That's what Tucker's mum said. And then she walked back in the kitchen and threw all the remainders of the wrappers and the carrier bag in the trash can. Oof, said Tucker. I think we might be all right, Leo. I think I might be all right. I don't have tummy ache at all. It's quite amazing, really. I think I've got like the digestive system of a, I don't know, maybe a cow or something or like a, I don't know, like a dinosaur or something or like a, I don't know. Like a, like a cow. Maybe I've got the digestive system of a cow. I can eat absolutely anything, you know. I know we're not supposed to eat chocolate, Leo, but chocolate's like one of my favourite things. I can't help it. I smell chocolate and I'm like, oh, the luxury and the silkiness of chocolate is so delicious, Leo. I can't help myself. And I must admit, I didn't tell you when I was eating everything last night because you were already asleep. But those Oreo cookies were the bestest, Leo. They would have been really nice with a cup of tea. Leo started laughing. Since when have you liked tea? 
Oh, Mum left a cup of tea on the table. The lo- the, uh, was it last week or was it the week before? And it went cold and I had a lick and it was very nice. And I was like, I see why Mum likes cups of tea now. It's very nice tea. I like it. Especially if she puts milk and sugar in it. Sometimes she doesn't though. She had one one time that tasted like lavender. And I was like, Ugh, pff, ugh this tastes like plants. It tastes like when you chew lavender bushes on the back garden. Pff, Ugh, yuck. But anyway, I do like the other one where she puts milk and sugar in it. That one's really nice. Leo started to close his eyes again as if the drama was over. Tucker had escaped it. Not that Mummy would have done anything. She just would have said, Tucker, you're a bad boy. And that's about it. That's all she needs to do really with him because Tucker doesn't handle being guilty or naughty very well. He can't help himself when he does things he knows he's not supposed to do sometimes because he gets so excited and he doesn't think about the consequences. It's kind of like a lot of people, really. People do that, don't they? They do things without thinking and they don't really think about the consequences. And then afterwards, they're like, oh, no, I wish I'd not done that. And they feel really bad and really guilty. And that feels awful. Took a lead there and thought about it for a minute and said, I think I do have a bit of a tummy ache, but I don't know if my tummy aches from all the things I ate or if it's from the guilty feeling because I always feel it in my tummy. It makes my tummy feel all like unhappy and and like rumbly and and, and uh, like no un, un, like unsettled. That's it. It feels very I feel very unsettled now. I think I'm gonna go and see if I can make mummy feel better. Tucker got up off the bed and walked into the kitchen. Mummy was making a cup of tea. He went round her legs and through her legs and in between her legs and the kitchen counter and he just stood there and leaned on her. Don't you come creeping to me, Tucker. You know you were naughty. But her voice had changed. There was a little bit of, a little bit of niceness in there now. It was softer. A more jokestery. You are. You're a crazy puppy, Tucker, she said. And she leaned down and she tickled behind and between his ears. At that point, Tucker knew he was all right. He stood with her for a while longer and then he went back in the living room and laid on the dog bed next to Leo. Oh, my tummy doesn't feel good at all, Leo. I think it was the Oreos, maybe. Or maybe it was those like hard candy things, you know, those sucky sweets that you suck so the aeroplane doesn't pop your ears. That's what mummy's told me they're for. So yeah, it might have been those. Oh, it could, oh no, it could have been the Cheez-Its. Maybe I wasn't supposed to eat those Cheez-Its because they might be. Oh, actually, I do feel very itchy. Tucker started to itch. He was scratching behind his ears with his front paw. And then he was turning around and trying to bite the top of his tail. He was scratching that part with his teeth. He was just trying to scratch everywhere with his teeth and his paws and whatever he could scratch with. He was rolling around at one point on his back on the carpet and trying to scratch his back that way. Tucker said, You know what, Leo, I don't think it's worth... I know what it is. I think I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the toilet, Leo. I'll see you in a minute. Tucker got up and went through the dog door onto the back garden to go to the bathroom. He was out there for quite a while. When he finally came back in and laid down next to Leo, he said, Oh, Leo, that was horrendous. There were bits of packet in it and everything. At one point, it was really scratchy and crunchy, and I think it was the Oreo cookie packet. My goodness gracious me. Remind me, Leo, never to eat aeroplane snacks ever again. That was the worstest potty trip in the entire world. Leo started laughing. He started to laugh that much that he was crying laughing. And he was rolling around on his dog bed laughing and crying. And Tucker said, Leo, it's not that funny. Leo couldn't talk. He was laughing so much. He couldn't stop thinking about Tucker pooping out crunchy Oreo cookie packets. Then 
Eventually, finally, he got the words out and said, that must have been terrible, Tucker. But then that made him laugh even more and he laughed some more and he cried some more and then Tucker got contagious laugh off Leo and he started laughing and he was laughing and crying and they were both rolling about on the big, soft, comfortable dog bed laughing and crying about Tucker and his crazy adventures. Eventually, Tucker's tummy did get back to normal but it took him a few days. For a few days he was pooping out different snack packets. Crazy dog. The end. <laughs>